Namaste. So today's yin class, we will be focusing on the spine. So uh, we'll start off with dangling, where we're going to really allow the spine to release. And then just come into back bends and forward folds, just creating that beautiful space between each vertebra. As always, breathe the whole practice, breathe into that space and take the focus to the space. So be mindful of where we're working in the body and really take your focus there and, and go inward today, as in any in practice. So let's hand, take the hands to heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Let's open our practice with three arms. Inhale. Om. Inhale. Om. One more. Inhale. Mantra today, we'll do the Gayatri Mantra three times. Om Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitu Varenium Bago Devas Yadi Mahi Dio Yona Racho. Meditating here for a few minutes, witnessing the flow of breath. And just be receptive to all the qualities of Gayatri Mudra, Gayatri Mantra. Let's start our practice today with Aloma Viloma, alternate nostril breathing. If you have high blood pressure, you're pregnant or moon cycle, please don't hold the breath uh, with the breath retentions. But for everyone else, we're just going to hold the breath just for a few seconds on the inhale and then on the exhale. So take the left hand in Jhana Mudra, palms facing up. Just rest that on the left knee. Two pieced fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. Exhale through both nostrils. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Pause at the top. Close the left. Let's exhale right for five, four, 
three, two, and one. And then pause without air. Inhale right. Pause with air. Exhale left. So inhaling and exhaling for a count of five. Inhale left for five. Let's pause for three, two, one. Exhale right for five. Pause for three, two, and one. Inhale right. Pause at the top. Exhale left. Inhale left. Pause at the top. Exhale right. So let's even out now. Inhaling and exhaling for five and then holding for five. Inhale right. Hold for five counts. Exhale left for five. Inhale left. Pause at the top. Exhale right. Soften the shoulders on the exhale. Exhale, lift. Two more rounds in your own time. Inhale, lift. Pause. Exhale, run. Soften the shoulders, relax. Inhale, right. One more round. And then when you exhale from the left nostril, float the right hand down to the right knee. And just be receptive to pranayama. Scan the body here and notice any blockages or how you're feeling in the body today. To scan from the toes right through to the crown of the head. And setting your intention for today's practice. So this is your practice. Your intention can be physical, spiritual or mental. And smile often. Turning the corners of the mouth up into a soft, gentle smile. I'm just taking this moment in time to witness how you're feeling. The mind and the body. When you're ready, let's come to a standing position. So you might you might use need your block. You can pop the block at the front of the mat there. So let's ground down through the left foot and then bring the right foot across the left. Now you can have them nice and close, or 
a little bit easier if you have them separate. So we're going to lengthen out through the spine here. You can have your block down in front or you can have no block. Okay, so hands down beside the body, inhale. And then exhale, fold. Bring the hands down onto the block, down onto the mat, and then allow the head to fall as well here. So we're getting a nice lengthening right through the spine. Let's get my phone so I can time how long we're going. So we're going to stay here for three minutes. You can have the fingertips on the earth, you can clasp, clasp the, uh, take hold of the elbows, whatever's in your practice, hold on to a block, totally up to you. Just breathe here, your jai breath. We're halfway there, 90 seconds to go. Allow the body to melt into the pose with each exhale. Last 50 seconds. Thirty seconds, we're almost there. Let's rolling up one vertebra at a time. Take the feet to mat width apart. Let's give them a little shake first. So take your feet to mat width apart. Have the feet out on a 45 degree. Hands to heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Exhale, let's come down into a squat here. Bring the elbows into the knees, gently guide the knees so wide. If this is not good for you, if your heels aren't touching the floor, just take your mat and roll it up behind you and then take your heels onto the mat. So roll it up behind you or put a blanket under, a rolled up blanket or a towel, anything to support you there. If that's also too much, come to sit on a block, that's okay. And just use the hand, elbows to draw the knees wide. That's okay too. We're here for five minutes.
So the spine is nice and long here. Your jive breath. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. You don't want to be experiencing any pain at all. If there's any pain, please get support through a block. You can even come and sit up against the wall. Sit on a block and against the wall. No pain. We're halfway there, stable. Two minutes to go. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe staying here or if it's in your practice, you can clasp the hands behind the heels. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Or just stay where you are. Last 60 seconds. Forty seconds, we're almost there. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Let's inhale coming up. Try not to touch the floor with your hands. Give the legs a shake. So let's come into our dangling pose on the other side now. Take the left leg across the right. Hands onto the hips. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. So you can have the hands on the mat. Taking hold of the elbows. Allow the head to fall. You may also use a block. Just come to your edge. We want to lengthen the back here. We don't want to. We don't want to injure the back at all. This is to lengthen through the spine. If you have back issues. Soft your jaw breath. Mm. 
if it's in your practice, you can take the hands behind the ankles, clasp the hands together, and just breathe. Sixty seconds to go. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And then just coming up one vertebra at a time. Undo the legs, give them a shake. Let's come to feet to mat width apart. We're coming down into one more squat pose here. So come up against the wall if you need, get a block, roll up the back of the mat. I'll just show you that. You can just roll up the black back of the mat and come to use that as a support when you come down into your squat. So feet to mat width apart, have the feet toes pointing out to a 45 degree. Inhale. Exhale, let's come down into our squat. We're here for five minutes. Gently guide the knees away from each other. Just breathe here. Soft to drive me. Two minutes to go. Almost there. Last 90 seconds, stay with it.
60 seconds. You've got this, almost there. Five seconds. With hands at the heart. Let's stand up. Give the legs a shake. Maybe just rolling from side to side. Breathe here. If you want to come through a vinyasa, if you need to do any particular pose, you're more than welcome to do that. Otherwise, just loosen up the body. So we're going to come down to a saddle pose. So with saddle, you can use your bolster. I just have to be a little bit more inventive here. You can use your bolster. Come to sit on the mat. So what you want to do here is sit on the mat with the feet out to the side and then we're going to lay back over that bolster beautiful hip flexor stretch down here if that's too much for you bring one leg out at a time then we're going to lay over that bolster so we're going to do this for six minutes. So if you have one leg out, I'll call a time at three minutes. Um, otherwise, both legs back. I'm just going to lay down like this. Take my bolster here. And when you come into this pose, tilt the tailbone so that the tailbone's nice and flat. Your bolster needs to be at the sacrum. Inhale and then exhale, fold over your bolster. And we're here for six minutes. Just come into your position actually a very comfortable pose this one if you don't need a bolster you can, or you can roll up a blanket if you're progressing down to the mat or you can have no bolster and just lying on the earth totally up to you whatever you feel your body is comfortable with today And just allow the whole body to soften, relax, melt down into this pose. the body, 
palms facing up, or you can take the hands above the head, clasp the hands above the head and allow them to melt down into your bolster. Opening up the heart, opening up the whole front side of the body. one leg out straight just swap those legs over now and come back down onto your bolster down onto your support Soft you dive in. Fifty seconds, almost. ready with helping hands coming up. It's quite normal to feel like you're a hundred years old when you come out of these yoga poses. Very, very normal. Let's windscreen wiper here. Take the legs out straight. We're coming into uh, we're coming into a caterpillar pose. So we're just going to do a forward bend, but rounding the back. So don't keep the back straight. Just allow the shoulders and the back to round. So sit high on the sit bones. If you want a little bit of extra juice into those hamstrings, you can sit on a block. Flex the feet, inhale, and then just fold forward here. 
just come to your edge. Allow the head to fall towards the earth with gravity. I'll just sit to the Just take the awareness to the breath, your jai breath here. And just visualize the breath like the tides in the ocean. Allow the head to fall. Three minutes to go. Stay with it. Flex the feet, engage through the hamstrings. We're halfway there. Last 90 seconds, almost there. Fifty seconds. Twenty seconds. Then inhale, come up.
Let's take the feet to mat width apart. Bring the hands underneath and we're just going to come into a hammock or a table, tabletop. Allow the head to fall back. Just for a counter pose here, just for a few moments. Exhale down. So our next pose, we're going to come into a sphinx pose. So I'm just going to move a little closer. So come to lay on your mat. Lay on the tummy. Bring the hands to take hold of the arm, uh, to take hold of the elbows, and then bring the hands out in front. Spread the fingers, happy fingers, long through the spine. And just for the moment, just take the gaze just beyond the mat. We're here for five minutes. And when you're ready, just allow the head to fall towards the earth with gravity. If you're holding any tension in the buttocks, let it go. And just breathe here. Any thoughts come into your mind, just acknowledge them, let them go. halfway there. Stay with me. Ninety seconds, we're almost there.
Bring the hands underneath the armpits, lower down onto the mat. Then we're gonna push back into child's pose here. So you can take the knees wide, come onto your bolster if you like, and then melt down into that bolster. We're here for five minutes. Soft your jaw breath. Just breathe here. Soft your jaw breath. Relax the shoulders, allow them to melt down onto the bolster. minutes to go. We're halfway there. Soft your jaw breath. Into ocean sound in the back of the throat. seconds. Allow the body to melt. Give the body permission to melt into the pose. Sixty seconds. Just breathe here. Stay with it. Thirty seconds.
Inhale, coming up. So we're coming into a seal pose now. So a seal pose is an extension from Sphinx. If this is too much for you, if, uh, if you have a, you know, your lower back issues or they're playing up today, if it's too much for you, <clears throat> just come back into your seal again. Otherwise, we're going to come four minutes into our, I just come into a Sphinx again, sorry. Otherwise, we're gonna come, bring the hands out to the side, lifting up. Tops of the feet are on the earth. And we're here for four minutes. If you need some support in this pose, you can actually bring your bolster across the mat and have the bolster underneath the rib cage just for some support there. That's okay. And then breathe. Arms are straight. Quite a strong compression on the lower back here. If it's too much, bring it down into more of your sphinx height. Three minutes to go. Soft your jaw breath. A gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Two minutes to go. We're halfway there. Ninety seconds. So you can have the gaze forward here on the horizon, or if you like, you can allow the head to fall and get a nice stretch along the back of the neck. Sixty seconds. Thirty seconds, we're almost there. Stay with you, you're doing well. Gently allowing the body to come down on the mat. Take the hands underneath the armpits. Push back into child's pose one more time. This time, knees are close together. Bring the arms down beside the body. Feel a nice lengthening right through the spine here. Allow the shoulders to melt.
and just rounding the whole back here. gently coming up. Let's come to lay on the mat. We're coming into banana asana. Very, very nice pose. So as the name suggests, it's a shape like a banana. So laying down on the mat, let's bring both feet to the right. Your back stays on the mat the whole time. Bring both feet to the right. And then take the arms above the head and then bring both arms to the right. So you're making a nice C shape with the spine. Take the left ankle and cross it on top of the right ankle. And just breathe here. Fully relax down into your mouth. We're here for five minutes, so just allow the body to melt. lips up into a soft smile. Be dry breath. Any thoughts come into your mind, just acknowledge them, let them go. We're halfway there.
last 60 seconds. Almost there. Come back to the center, walk both legs to the left side and take the right ankle across the left. Feel a nice stretch right through the right side body. <coughs> then bring both hands, clasp the hands together, bring both hands to the left side. And just soften here, let go of any tension. Melt down into your mat, down into the earth. Soft your jaw breath. Three minutes to go. Really bringing your thoughts into that right side, where you're feeling the lengthening, where you're feeling the stretch. Being mindful of any sensation. Last 90 seconds.
30 seconds, we're almost there. Now let's come back to centre. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a big hug. Let's do some circles here on the sacrum. Back the other way. So we're coming into a twist. Raise the legs. Bring the right leg across the left, and maybe back underneath the, the calf muscle to the ankle, hooking the toes around into twisted roots. Bring the arms out to the sides in a letter T. Inhale. Exhale, allow both legs to fall to the left side. Take the gaze to the right fingertips. Maybe bring the left hand onto that right knee, gently guide it towards the earth. If you need a little bit of a helping hand, you can bring a weight onto that knee, or alternatively, or both, you can bring a weight onto the right shoulder. That's just gonna give you a little bit of grounding, a little bit of assistance there. We'll take the gaze to the right fingertips, Soft your jai breath. We're here for four minutes. It's coming up to centre. Undo the legs. Bring the knees back into the chest one more time. This time take the knees in opposite directions. Nice big circles on the sacrum. Back the other way. Let's bring the legs up. Cross the left leg over the right this time. Arms out to the side in a letter T. Inhale. Exhale, let's fold to the right side. Take the gaze to the left fingertips. And 
soft to jog with. We're here for four minutes. Just breathe here. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. And let go of any tension. Two minutes to go. coming back to center. Undo the legs, bring the knees into the chest one more time. And just roll in here from side to side for the sake of a massage. Draw the knees towards the armpits. Now we're going to do six rocks along the spine, come up and then we're going into Shavasana. So if that's not good for you today, please just roll to the right side and with helping hands coming up. But otherwise, let's do six rocks along the spine. coming into Shavasana. So gather anything you need for relaxation. Ah. 
anything you need to be the most comfortable that you can be. Maybe a blanket or a meditation shawl, eye pillow if you have, a, have one. You can take a bolster across the mat and allow the knees to fall over the bolster, feet come out wide. Bring the arms down beside the body, palms facing up. Or if you like today, you can bring the left hand under the, onto the heart and the right hand onto the solar plexus. Manipura Chakra. Making any adjustments. And then coming into stillness. So let's practice a few rounds of orbit breath here. So with orbit breath, we're orbiting around the body, visualizing our fresh prana going around the body. So wherever you are in the breath, exhale. Inhale, front side of the body, past the heart, the navel, to the mool of Hara Chakra, deep in the perineum. Exhale around the tailbone, up through the spine, over the crown of the head to the third eye center. Inhale, front side of the body, past the heart, the navel, to the mool of Hara Chakra, deep in the perineum. Exhale around the tailbone, up through the spine, over the crown of the head to the third eye center. Inhale, front side of the body, past the heart, the navel, to the Muladhara Chakra, deep in the perineum. Exhale around the tailbone, up through the spine, over the crown of the head to the third eye center. Inhale, front side of the body, past the heart, the navel to the Mula Tara Chakra, deep in the perineum. Exhale around the tailbone, up through the spine, over the crown of the head to the third eye center. So continue on with your orbit breath, orbiting fresh, beautiful prana around the body, and gathering any loose energies along the way, and bringing them back to the Agya Chakra third eye center. Balancing all the chakras, our energy centers. Allow the body to become more and more heavy with each round of breath. Being supported here. By Mother Ruth. Gently now allowing the breath to just float away. Just coming into your natural breath. 
inhaling and exhaling with effortless ease. Slowly introducing movement into the fingers and toes. Gently rolling the head from side to side. Raising the right hand above the head. And rolling over onto the right side body. And staying here in this fetal position for a few moments. Taking your thoughts back to today's intention. And maybe carry that intention through the rest of the day. And throughout time today, turning the corners of the mouth up to a soft smile. And maybe coming back to a moment in today's practice. Reliving that moment throughout the day. With helping hands coming up to a seated position. Half lotus or easy pose. Sitting on a block or a bolster. Let's take the two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. Left hand in Jhana Mudra, palms facing up. Bring the right elbow close to the heart, long through the spine. Exhale through both nostrils. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left, exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one, soft shoulders. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Close, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, right. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Close the left, exhale right. Soft shoulders. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. 
let's do two more rounds together. Inhale, lift. Close, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, right. Exhale, lift. One more round. Inhale, lift. Close, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close right. Exhale, left. Float the right hand down to the right knee. Long through the spine. Just draw the chin slightly towards the chest. Just breathe here. Do a normal breath. Soft shoulders. Let's clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, open the heart. Exhale, fold forward, surrender yourself to Mother Earth. Inhale up to a seated position. Rub the hands together. Take the palms over the eyes, feel the warmness, one breath. Draw the hands away from the face, open the eyes to a soft gaze. Hands to heart center and Namaskar Mudra. Let's close our practice with one arm and three shanties. Inhale. Inhale for Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Namaste your neighbor. Namaste. Namaste.